Hey, welcome to Kaleo Giving. In this tutorial video, we're going to show you how to set up your Kaleo Giving dashboard, how to designate different projects and buckets, uh, how to set up your text to give, and uh, how to put it in your app, and what resources you want to use to uh, include it in, in your website as well. Uh, so we're going to go through things, and I'm going to try and keep it as short but as informative as I can for you. So if you go to kaleogiving.com and click login, uh, or you can just go to donations.kaleogiving.com uh, or click the link that was given to you in your email when you were approved, uh, it'll take you to the sign-in page. Simply go ahead and put in your email and password that you, uh, that you created when you set up your account. That will take you into your dashboard, and your dashboard will look like this. When you first enter it, it'll look just like this. Uh, this set program keyword is where you're going to set your keyword for your text to donate feature. Um, this keyword, you want to make sure that it's, I recommend that it, that it be one word and that it be a word that doesn't have a tendency to autocorrect to something else. The reason for that is when somebody puts in their, uh, if they're on their phone and they're typing in that word, um, if it is two words or if it wants to, um, to autocorrect to something else, uh, when they click send, it might actually um, autocorrect before they send it and then therefore they're not sending in the, the proper keyword. So you want to make sure that it's one word and doesn't have a tendency to, to autocorrect to something else. You don't have to set up this text to donate uh, keyword at the very beginning. You can always set it up later. It'll prompt you as you come in if you haven't set it up. Or you can always um, access your administrator profile up here uh, to be able to uh, to be able to, to set up your keyword. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of this and not, not set that up right now, but um, this is how when you first log into your dashboard, you're going to see one main bucket. Now this is your this is the main bucket that's always going to be there. Um, you, you can't ever delete it or change it because this is this is kind of like your core account bucket. This I recommend being um, the bucket that uh, people will donate to for your general fund. Um, you know, kind of where, where they would donate the most amount of money to, I recommend that being this bucket right here. Um, since this bucket's already set up, you can simply just click on this icon over here, that's the edit donation page. That will actually, actually take you into this donation page, and you can set up from here, um, you can set up from here the uh, image, the title, um, you can set up a description, of what it is that they're donating to. You can use text. You can also uh, insert an image over here. You can insert a video um, if you want to use you know, more imagery to show them what it is that they're donating to. Um, the suggested donation amount, this will come up both on the web and mobile. Um, so you can select which one you would prefer to, uh, to, to prompt them with. Um, let's go ahead and select that one. And then you, you just click Save. So that will, uh, now what we've done there is we've set up this main bucket. Um, and then if I want to add a new program, all I do is click Add Program. And say here, I'm going to go ahead and just use this same, same image just for sake of time. But um, here I want to make this the Youth Fund. So here we can just call this, you know, enter the description down here. Once again, if you have an image or video, you can insert that as well. Select an amount. Um, let's go ahead and pick this one this time. You can save it. And now you'll see that in your, off, in your back office, that this net has now been created. And you can do that as many times as you want, set up as many different funds as you'd like to, to, to set up. Um, each one of the buckets is going to have its own uh, analytics. It's going to have its own links uh, to direct people straight to that page. Uh, obviously, it's going to have its own edit buttons as well. And then uh, there's also a preview button if you want to see exactly what this looks like. Uh, once you've set it up. So this is actually the, the web version of what people are going to see when they go to donate to that fund. So you can kind of check out what, what it really looks like after you've created it. Um, then uh, you'll notice that on, on all of the buckets except for the top one, there's a delete button over here. Um, that's, that's because if you, uh, you, know, you have some sort of initiative, maybe it's just a fundraiser for a certain period of time and you want to take it down later, then you can always delete it and make it uh, not an option for people to, to donate to anymore. So um, you can go ahead and do that if you'd like. The analytics, obviously these are have just been set up so nobody, nobody's donated anything to them, but, but once they uh, 
uh, once donations have been coming in, uh, you'll be able to see the analytics over here. Uh, there'll be a graph here showing you how much was given on what specific day. Um, and then it'll tell you some other figures like the total, uh, when it was started, what's the average transaction. You can click this to view your transactions. Uh, and then also just as a summary, you can see here it gives you a few numbers. Uh, up here in this bucket or in, in this uh, field, this is your total amount for all of the buckets combined. Um, so, uh, so that's kind of it keeps a nice running total of everything that's been donated. Um, so there's that. Uh, like I said, with every bucket, um, you're going to have its own. It's going to have its own dedicated URL, and so you can either use this this direct URL right here. Um, you can use this in your website. Uh, I'll show you how to put it in the app in a second. Um, or if you want to use this button, we've actually provided the code uh, for you to, to be able to use this button for people to donate to uh, this specific project. So, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this link in uh, into my clipboard. I'm going to paste it into a new web page. And you'll see that that directs me right to the tithes and offerings bucket. Um, if I go back and I select uh, this fund now, and I copy this code, and I open up a new web page, now it's directing me right to this uh, this fund here. So that's how you can use those different links uh, to be able to direct people right to uh, where where they're trying to donate. So. Um, now I'm going to show you how to put uh, how to put um, the links into your app. So what you'll want to do is you want to go on your app dashboard. Uh, you want to go to the content section, and in the content section, all you're going to do is you're going to add content. Click on website. So you're adding a web module here. Uh, once again, pay, copy and paste the donations link that you get right here each in each of these buckets. You want to copy and paste the link in for as many buckets as you have. So let's go ahead and say this one is uh, you know, GCC Youth and <clears throat> I want to go ahead and enter. So this is the link, this is the title, and you want to do that for as many buckets as you have. So same, same thing, just add content, website, um, copy the URL, paste it in. Now you've created these, these um, these links or these modules, now you have to go in and en enable them uh, and put them actually on the device itself, on the, on the app. So you want to go into Design Smartphone. Uh, if you have only one link, then you simply need to click Add and then uh, go to, you know, if you, only have, if you only have one giving bucket, then you can just go ahead and put that in as its own tab. So that as soon as somebody clicks on it, it takes them right to that donation page. Uh, if you have multiple buckets, uh, like we like we did, like we set up, uh, then what you want to do is you want to click new icon because it's going to create a folder uh, titled this give. We can give it a nice little uh, present icon. <laughs> uh, you want to click give, and then you want to take this. Um, you want to take these links, and you want to. Uh, take these different bu buckets and you want to put them underneath that give tab. So now anytime someone clicks on this give tab then they'll see these different funds and they can select which one they would like to donate to. So uh, and there's a, there's a few other um, you can put in a gallery image or uh, little icon images for these as well if you'd like to do that. So, uh, so that's how you add it to the app. Make sure that once you do that, uh, you go ahead and click republish. Uh, that'll make sure that your app syncs with the server and the next time that your users bring up the app on their phone, uh, it will resync and, and show this as being an option now. Um, the last thing I wanted to, to go over with you was the uh, text to give number. So obviously we haven't set a keyword. You'll have one keyword for your organization. So uh, you can set that keyword, like I said, through your profile or when you first log in. Um, this is the number uh, to which they want to text that keyword. So if you have an event or you know some something like that, you can just say text this keyword to this number to donate. And that's how they would do that. Um, so that's a that's an overview of Kaleo giving. It's very simple, very intuitive. Um, if you have any um, 
any merchant account needs, then you would want to want to actually access your merchant account dashboard um, through Cornerstone uh, by going to cornerstone.securenet.com. That's where you'll be able to uh, refund transactions if necessary, uh, and, and and there are a few other things associated with your merchant account specifically. But this is where you'll set up your projects, your different funds. Uh, like I said, you'll be able to put them on your app, put them on your website, set up your text to donate, and uh, and do all of those things. So thanks again for, for choosing Kaleo Giving. Um, and if you have any questions or need anything, feel free to contact us at support at kaleoapps.com, and we would be happy to, to help you in any way that we can. Have a great day.